guys. The boozers are back. <laughs> the boozers are back. We, um, yeah, we stayed until, what was it, 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock last, o'clock last night, night hanging out with Ryan, yeah. And we had a great time. Yep, but, always do. And I hope, I, I know a lot of you were in here too, and and uh, I think it, Ryan had something like a oh, hundred and... Oh, do we not have... I know, oh, no, it's good. A hundred and... Forty or something 40. in there last night. Yeah, we had a good time. I think Unboxing he had more the, than he uh, ever had before, so... Yeah. Unboxing uh, that P sixty one. That was neat. P sixty one looks pretty decent. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll let you know something more after we put it together. Put it together and, and kind of learn it. it. Yep. And we'll give you a more rundown of. F four is ready to go. Y'all saw us unbox that. Dad Let's took it home. Show and them the F four. Papa Maybe Donovan. Somebody's in here that wasn't in here last night. Yeah, we unboxed the F four the other night. Right. Yep. So, that was Sunday. We'll show them what the Papa Doc So Dad's got it all finished. He's going to go grab it real quick and bring it in here. We'll show you that all finished up. Maybe, I know you guys might have seen it last night, but the ones that might might not have seen it, here's what it looks like after we put the dots on it. Hang on. Topping shot in. We'll we'll get it closer. She's topping shotting me. There it is. You get it. You have to kind of get it closer and slow down. Oh, you can see it. I really like the planes, like I told you guys last night, I really like the planes that plant, uh, painted gray because the, the rivets really show real well on these planes that's pa- painted. The only ones that they don't are the real dark blue navy planes. They don't pop as well on uh, that kind of plane. But I hope you guys that are really into... Uh, Show them the bottom side. Now the bottom side is not painted, guys. That's just plain yeah, foam. Not it up. But, the, but I actually did the bottom, the b- middle of the fuselage is with a sharpie, and the wings are actually with the other pin that I use to give you an idea of the the it, on the white. The I, I kind of like to use the real uh, a regular sharpie that's got a real sharp point. Make sure they're not the ones that you've been writing with for a long time. Get you a brand new one to do it. He even did the wheels. I don't yeah, know if I go in that. there and I kind of dot the wheels in the. Give them a little hmm. bit of a. It gives them perspective. I mean, you know, yeah. to, uh, to just put a few dots on them. Yep. But anyway. Uh, Something you can do. Probably will do it on the. You know the fuel tanks are really. You know they're just plain old uh, foam looking things. Uh, you could paint them up a little bit, but there you go. it gives it a little bit more pop if you do a little bit of the rivets on the on the tanks. And I can take it back. And I actually painted the there. ends of the missiles and stuff. On the it's Where? on the front view. Well, here, are you trying to show the top here? Hang no, on. I'm just. That's I'll good. Just... That's good. Okay. But uh, anyway. There we go. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> <Get> out of here. <laughs> anyway, guys, we've been having a good time. We went and looked at trailers this weekend. As you know, I've, some of y'all know I've been trying to figure that out as far as going to events. Now I'd like to be able to have a trailer or something to sleep in, something to haul our scooters and our airplanes in. So we think we've got that about figured out. Uh, when we do, we'll show you that when we get that. What the heck? It's what it has to do with RC airplanes. Yeah. As we yeah, build yeah. out our. Well, I mean, thing. It's, it, it, maybe some of these other guys want to uh, have a trailer and, and maybe some some ideas on it. We've actually been looking at other people's ideas on on uh, line. And Wesley was showing me before we come on uh, another fellow's really. Uh, I mean, there's some neat ideas out there how to to, to fix up these trailers. I mean, you could go tell completely nuts with this, but. Uh, um, Farmer Rose is asking if this is a new jet. Uh, neither one of them really are. The F4 has been out a little while, and the MIG's been out quite a while. So um, they're not new yeah, releases. Yeah. They're just something that we wanted to fly. So they're ones that Wesley's we got. Wesley's wanted this MIG forever. Ever. Uh, I've always uh, liked the way this plane looked. And I got it in the right color. Well, let me rephrase that. Kevin Farrow's purchased this airplane, and he said, which color, Wesley? I said, I want the blue one, not the silver one. The silver one's hideous to me. Yeah, sugar daddy. Sorry if you like it. Sugar but uh, <laughs> That's right. But the, the, the green... Laura, go to the top shot real quick. Uh, so this airplane comes in two colors, guys, just to show you. So it comes in 
Let me see if I can kind of turn it to where you see it. It comes in this, this silver with the green accents where it comes in this blue and white one. I got the blue and white one. And it's painted, it's gray. Painted it's gray, gray instead of silver. And I, I just always liked this paint job better. And I Papa think it looks will, neat. Papa dot this this one. one will probably the get Papa dotted in the head. The... Anyway, you can go back to the front. But I think the Kevin is wanting to have a MIG A dog F4 fight. That's the plan, yeah. Dog fight, so... He wants to fly the F4 with me flying the, the MIG. This That'll is be a, fun. Well, they're both 80 millimeters. Well, that one's a... No, no it's 80. 80. Yeah, they're both 80 millimeters. So they're so. the same size. Yep. So they look... This the airplane thing. always looks really big to me, though, when I see it in person. Uh, for an 80, yeah. this airplane looks yeah. big when you see it. The wings aren't very long, but the plane is I mean, long, really long. long. So, but that, really neat. This is kind of like on the equivalent of a 104 in a, in a kind of a way. A yeah, kind of. En big engine. Little wings wing, go real fast. Go real fast. It was meant to be a. I think this was an interceptor. This flew at like two times the speed of sound in yeah, real life, too. Yeah, I this was a really fast. I watched was, the documentary. It was fast on the for its time. Yes. Yeah. Very, very fast. And fast. everybody flew one, too. The Chinese, yeah, I mean, everybody, Israel, everybody had yeah, a MiG 21. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Uh, but it never really could compete with. It could. It could compete with them, but it really never did. Outshine the American jets, I don't think. Mm -hmm. I, I'm excited. It, it, it was a com real good combatant to it, but it just didn't overwhelm them. Right. It's they, a they long age. That That's a good way to say it, Victor. It flew faster than it did. Hey guys, I'll go down the list real quick. Uh, GB Linden, thanks for stopping by. Jeff's Custom RC. Jeff's Custom RC lately, his thumbnails have been on point. I don't know what he started doing different, but his thumbnails look awesome on all of his videos. Uh, Victor Shamulus, nice to have you here. Craig Beaven, nice to see you. Jackson RC Aviation, Farmer Rose. Hager 51, he's been watching for a while. Wayne Leaf 630, he's been here forever. Yep. Good to see you back, Wayne. I didn't see you for a while. Farmer there. Man Rose. Yeah, yeah. So it's good to see all Jackson of you guys in tonight. I don't know how many viewers we have tonight. Is it 44, 44 right now. in the house right now, nice. Thank nice. Jeff, MCSSI. No problem, man. MCSS, you've been coming in for quite a while, too. Good to see you in the house. Um, but anyway, I guess let's start getting this open, don't we you think? We want to make sure that everybody's here before we do this, because Didn't normally like, what we have to do, somebody will come in late and says, well, I missed I this, missed this or I'll show me again. this again. Hey, it happens. And anyway. Well, let's start getting into it, guys. Um, Dad, if you'll help me slide oh, the top uh, off here. One of the other things I want to show you. That I, oh, I, yeah, real quick. I got the new, we, we were requested to do this shirt. I forgot who did it. Uh, uh, I it think Dave Kowiski was Kowiski, the one asking okay. for it. So anyway, I just got my brand new. This is the actual Mary Boozer squadron, squadron patch. patch on the front. And the B-24 with the Mary, with the Mary on the back. Mary Boozer nose art on the back. So yep. There was something that was requested. And, and we made we it got happen. it for you. So go to that Teespring store and look for it if you like that. Man, I like that blue. Yeah, all right, so let's go on and start with the big part right here. You get a uh, an extra go get them rod just because you've never seen one of those before, right? <laughs> all right. I think I've already cut these. Uh oh, I already cut, uh, cut into Maybe the wires. Did you? Uh, there's the wires up here, though. Yeah, yeah, that's wires. weird. I never seen. Look at that. Yeah, they're up in this one, too. The wires are actually up inside the foam on this. You go. So watch it when you cut into these things. You might cut your wires. That's not <laughs> going to be a no ah! Landing gear, where did I get that at? Oh. It's probably the wing. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know. Uh-oh. Okay, so we get to I, figure I out that. I did not do it. Gosh! I box that way, so I can't don't have know. nothing nice anymore. I don't know. I'll grab this while you're cutting. Here's the manual, guys. User manual. Oh, we'll definitely do the close-ups, guys. Look at all the schemes you get with this, too. 
I'm gonna sneak over here. Prepare. Look at all them paint job schemes. And remember, if you don't like this one, you can always go to Cali Graphics. Right. And get you some more schemes. Phew, you're not kidding. Those do smell bad when they come out of the box. I just got it and I didn't <laughs> wash it. The t-shirts, if you don't wash them when woo. you first get them, woo, they're, they're a little stinky. They kind of got a little bit of odor to them. So, there's a little bag here with our nose cone and some little plastic bits that go here and there. I th there's the front pedo tube right there. We'll get it all out here in a second, though. We're going to get the main pieces out first. Oh, I got the... Oh, so, here we go. They the were carbon laying, spars. They were laying on top. I'm just going to set them behind us for now, though. Yeah, they smell like that mold release or whatever it is. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I know you guys like this. Scissors, please, sir. I'm going to get some skizzers so we can open this stuff. That wing is very long. Like skinny, but long. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The shape of it, it's kind of odd. Let's we'll see. I'm trying to figure out the best way to take this out of this bag because... Green the, wheels. Yeah, the wheels are kind of ugly, to be honest. There we go. Sorry, I was trying to take that out as nice as I could, but I couldn't figure out how. Alright, so here you go. The finish is phenomenal, as we've come to expect with Free Wing. Free Wing. I mean, you, you, you don't even have to question it when you're getting a Free Wing model anymore. They're going to be beautiful. You know, that, that's what we Hinges were, are actual hinges, not foam. That's what we were discussing last night from uh, the jet that we unboxed last night with Ryan, is that if you come to expect the paint job that's on these free wings don't expect it from everywhere right but yeah. of course you pay for it i mean you do pay more for these of but course but you, you get what you pay for you get what you pay what for kind of hinges? uh i just said they were they're actual hinges in these guys they're not foam hinges they're they are hinges. actual hinges there's they one are, right there they are hinges hinges hinge hinges and when you get a free wing anchor, and there's nothing cheap. There's nothing cheap things. or chinchy I mean, on yeah, these. They do them right. I, I don't sorry, like but... the green wheels. That is absolutely hideous to me. I don't know if the real airplane was like that, but I think these might be blue by the end of this. You know, when we when we uh, was at Nall in in the springtime, I love that, that F eighteen fly. I, I know that. Uh, no, don't talk about that. that there was some problems with that airplane, but they they fixed it as fast as they could. And I that and I I'm just saying that's what you're going to get from motion. And anybody that had issues with their F-18s, they, they got new airplanes. So that's exactly right. So I I would never hesitate. I would never hesitate to, to buy, buy a free product. wing motion RC product. Me neither. Until they do something that's <laughs> they're not going to do something like I that. Know Here, they're not. put that over there. I mean, that's why I'm telling them to do it. And I think everybody out there knows that anyway. Real plane has green wheels. Man, that's ugly. Yeah, it does. This real plane might not. When it gets all done. There's the other wing, guys. Beautiful paint job, like I said. The finish is phenomenal. I think it's one of the ugliest airplanes ever. Wesley just thinks it's the same. I think it's so ever. cool, you know. And that's the funny thing about different people's tastes you know that's the fun thing about airplanes just because dad doesn't like this one he says hey I'm that sorry, don't mean I'm you just, shouldn't get one i'm sorry it's kind of like my dad or the world war ii veterans when i put, pulled out that zero yeah he had I a he had a giant with, zero i used to fly with those world war ii veterans and they would give me nothing but pure hell about that i thing. can't believe you're you flying a japanese Jesus zero out shit. here what i heck? said i didn't build it because it was I built it because of the flat characteristics. I think like this is one neat like looking that, that, That's kind of like I don't like this either. Because I was, I'm of that era. I think it's one cool, cool looking airplane. But, 
Once again, to each his own. You know, if they only made stuff that one guy liked, well, it's a lot like, of people wouldn't be very happy. I, you know, it's Just like the it people back. that don't want to uh, have a swastika on the back of their their damn airplane. I'm going, come on, free hugger. Take it easy. I'm sorry, but I'm, you know. I feel the come same on, way, but man. Yeah. That's the way it was. I'm not saying you have to be a Nazi. That's just the way it is. It's breaking that first time. Yep, all hinges again. And if I'm going to build a, a, a German airplane, it's going to have a swastika on the back of it. I agree. I agree totally. I Beautiful paint I, job, though. I don't agree with what they did, but that's, that was history. History is history. And if everybody tries to wipe out history, then we'll repeat it again. All right. Bag of parts. Always get your white tube of glue. Do not throw your glue. Do not throw your white tube of glue away. This stuff is phenomenal. It's just like phone tech. If you don't keep this, you should. Anyway, all your uh, ball links. So this is going to have ball links all throughout uh, your hardware to put it together. You, uh, phone boy, you asking if we've ever put any men wax on a plane? Negative. No. We, not. we don't really care for the shiny look of men wax on an airplane. Not to say, if I did a Blue Angels F-18, maybe. To make it shiny, because I think yeah, they're shiny. Yeah, well, I mean, okay. But yeah, most but military no. planes are not shiny. So, and to each his own. Some guys yeah, like yeah, it. If you like it, go for it. But I would never do it. It, uh, the only reason I might do it is if it was to, I found out that it might help it from gatoring to the sun, maybe I might do it. I don't but know, I'm not a big guy I'm, on that I'm, stuff I'm, though. This thing's huge. I, I, want, I want them to figure out how to, well it seems like if you paint them they don't gator as bad. But right, the, and it depends but on the still, color. If, if, if you painted a dark color, they will bubble they like will crazy. Bubble in, in the, our B24, we took the null and we had it out there for maybe 20 minutes and that thing gated like... Uh, I wanted to cry. Me too. Anyway. Oh well. I thought Kevin has got the receiver and stuck it in here, but I didn't see it yet, so maybe he did. What is this? Oh, the... the uh, it looked weird, but this is the elevator. Slow. Here we go. All right. Get that first crack. Once again, real hinges on the tail. There are real hinges all over this plane. Plastic. Uh, actually, can't tell. I think this is actually foam. Is in here too? No, that's plastic. This is plastic. Lights up, Ryan. Is he here? Yeah, Ryan's in here. Beautiful paint job, though. Anyway, there's one of our elevators. Elevator. What is this? Some kind of a big wood piece. I don't really know where this goes. I'm sure it goes on the bottom somewhere. Yeah, it's a... Like a dorsal fin type thing. This is made out of wood. This is balsa. Balsa. Oh, throw this thing back. We don't want no balsa. We don't want no stinking balsa, balsa in our house. We're foam people. Just kidding. Yep. Slow and sexy. Slow okay. and sexy. <laughs> they couldn't see that. Right. Ta da. Ta-da, there's that. Like I said, guys, the paint job is what we've come to ex expect from Free Wing. It's a beautiful paint job. There's really no blemishes or anything anywhere. I'm going to get the aft section out. Now, what's this? How much is this plane? I have no idea. Do we have a product page ready? Four hundred, four, five hundred dollars Hang on, we'll get a product page going. It's going to be front view for a second, and I'll hold Whatever up. Whatever it is, this. it's worth it. Ta da there it is. Three four uh, three forty three forty nine. Not what you thought it was. That not is not the uh, plug and play, yep. Not for so, what you get and that's not bad. I mean I 
Just for guys that were curious what the price of this airplane is as we're going, there it is straight off of Motion RC. So $349, free shipping to your door, and you can have one of these. Right. Tell them the boozer sent you. Yep. Go to Pilot Ryan's. No. <laughs> we're, we're doing ours. We've heard Pilot Ryan talking all week. This is this is the boozer. You tell him the boozer sent you. <laughs> I'm stopping him. <laughs> no well, offense, I'm, Ryan, I'm but this getting, is mine. I'm getting brainwashed. <laughs> You're getting brainwashed from all that Pilot Ryan stuff. <laughs> oh, anyway, sorry. Is he laughing at us? <laughs> Anyway, there's the uh, aft section, guys, of the fuselage. It's interesting how they buried the servo right there where the elevator's going to go right in there. Must go around it. Yep. Must be cut out right there. It must be. Anyway, plastic receiving points. It's all screwed together, which is nice. That's I don't see any glue anywhere. That, that yeah, they've got that they down do. to a science I mean, now. I mean, all know. screwed together here. You will have to glue the aft section of the fuselage on, as you do on most of these airplanes. Um, but most of this is going to be screwed together on this airplane. And I know everybody knows when you're going to glue this on, please clean this up with a little bit of uh, sandpaper. sandpaper. Get the Take this over spray off. It'll stick on there a lot better if you'll just the sandpaper this see what you're doing. up here. Sandpaper that off just lightly and it'll, it'll, uh, it'll adhere better. It'll adhere a lot better. I know you guys know that, but I'm going to say it anyway. All right, the piece de la resistance, or whatever yeah. they call it. The uh, better is the most. If I can get it out of the box. Arr, come here. Make sure there's nothing in there. That I don't see anything. Oh. Make sure there's nothing on the bottom. Yeah, nothing on the bottom either. They're good at hiding stuff in the bottom sometimes. Nope, that's it. There is. There is no more. Watch out! Ah, look at that blue. That blue is just woo. Oh man, it's pretty. Oh, that's interesting. It's already vented for you guys that I drill holes in my canopies to keep them to vent, but that actually has an open hole there to let air out of that canopy. That's a good idea. Keep maybe some of the gatoring down. Now that black, watch it when you get that in the sun. <laughs> black gators, easy. And, but, and the cockpit is awesome. Oh yeah, I mean, I it's mean, got a great... Looking cockpit, little and pilot looks, looks nice. Looks like you screw the nose on. You do. Or the, the, the cone, cone on, on yeah. the end of it. And the and the retracts are awesome. They're they're metal. Metal. Suspension retracts. Suspension retracks. retracts. Nothing cheap on this thing. No way, no shape, no fashion. Always, always if you want quality, go to freeway. I do like how they cut that hole out so you can adjust your uh, uh, nose wheel also. So it's got a grub screw, or it's actually a, hang on, it's a regular screw right down to the servo there. I don't know if you can see it, but that little hole is so you can adjust your steering uh, servo on that. I like how they do that on most of these planes now. And you can see that it is a suspension retract. Uh, we've Dave all come Harley along. says it's called a fuselage, Wesley. A fuselage? A fuselage? <laughs> there's that I haven't screwed the nose cone on yet but there is a uh, it's not magnetic on this one this one screws on and it's a plastic piece up here poke holes in what? Poke Jeff, holes in... Jeff says poke oh holes I usually stuff. poke holes in my glass like right back here I'll take a little drill bit and screw a little hole here let to let some that. of the hot air out of mine but this one actually let me take the it's got a set of hole in this hole. It's got a vent. It's got a vent hole in it. Yeah, yeah look at this. this so is cool. I'm going to show you this again. This is actually open. open. This little knob up here on top is open down into it, so it lets the hot air out of the you canopy. Know, that might have been the uh, what that is is possibly the way he looked backwards. Right, that, that might have been, been a mirror or something. Mirror or something. He looked backwards. It's not a it. bad cockpit either, guys. No, I no. mean, you know, there's you mm -hmm. could always 3D print a better dashboard than that, but for right out of the box, that's not a bad looking cockpit. Great looking little pilot that you get in it. What the heck's on his eye? Hmm. I don't know. Might have just been the reflection, but okay. anyway. He's a good looking little pilot. You know, another thing, because this 
this fuselage, fuselage is so long they have actually reinforced it with wood pl uh, uh, hard ply on both sides to strengthen that so if you have a hard landing you don't break it off right there there's your battery bay guys I mean just a little bit more thought there because they know that it's going to take that whack on that front gear and it's probably going to break right there if they didn't do that I like these I mean, two, yeah, the clips. Just, just, uh, I think it's a cool looking airplane, up. man. Yeah. I really do. I've always liked it. Any I don't know Audi. if this stays on there or not. Because the no, paint don't 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 paint wouldn't the thing. I don't know. Any trying Audi. to figure it all out. Uh, let's see, what is this? It is a, damn, I still can't tell. It's an, an Audi. Outrunner. Er, there you go. It looks like it's about a 12 blade. Ta-da! For you guys that wanted to see up in there, um, I suppose we could start the front view. We could probably put this thing together. These go together pretty oh, darn quick and easy. Huh? You don't want it? The hardest part is just gluing the tail on. That takes the longest part is gluing the tail on. So anyway, let's see. What, is, what the hardest part is going to be doing this. And I don't have a piece of sandpaper right now. I can go get one. It has uh, a 3530 18kV brushless outrunner. Kind of piece it together maybe it's for you guys to see it. It's got And it flies on six cell... 4,000 to 6,000 lipos. I mean, I was telling you guys, though, for an 80, I'm going to piece it together. I'm not going to glue it all together right now. I'll do that later. But just so you can see it, I'm just going to set it together. I mean, it's a big airplane for an 80. I've always seen it. Where I have seen it, I think there's a carbon rod that goes in there that might yeah, but help you. Yeah, sticking it together, I thought. It is. I was just thinking to help you out. Shucks. Just for, oh yeah, it's so hard putting these together, you know. Yeah, it probably takes about. Just for giggles, though, we'll stick it together so you can see what it looks like. We'll put it together, it together off camera. It does take a little while. It takes like all of 30 minutes. But when I put them together on camera, I always make mistakes. I don't want to do that anymore. Here at the live stuff, for one thing, I can't get the spar in. Look at that. <laughs> it's a rental. Gosh. Thanks, Kevin. Here, let me let me put the wings on first, so I'm not shaking it all over the place when you go to do that. We're just piecing it quick, guys. Like I said, just so you can see it together, get a size comparison. If I can get the sparks to line up, there it goes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't want to go in there. I don't want to go in its hole. There it goes. Go in the hole, Wang Chung. Alright, let me stick the other side off. What? <laughs> what did I miss? Nothing. Is it falling apart or something? You just gotta hold on. Yeah, all the weight's on one side, so it tried to mm -hmm. roll. It's just, uh, this stuff live is always so difficult. You gotta kind of line that. And then it goes right in. There you go. Now you can set the tail on it. Hey, look, it could be a delta. I think half of all those people, that, huh? Most of all these folks have seen one of these. I think maybe probably. Anyway. But just for giggles, we'll so stick it together real quick. Everybody. I think you got to go straight down with it. And it's not going to go in there because of all the wires. But there you go. You can at least get an idea of the size of it there. Ta-da! Ta-da! So there you go. You kind of get a size. I mean, that thing it's a good long. size airplane. I tell you, for an 80. Compared to the... You forgot the nose. Yeah, and the nose isn't on it right now. I, I could screw it on there real quick. Here. You got a top shot or... Hang on a second. Let me screw the nose on. Everybody wants to put the nose on or what? 
Did they say stick the nose on? I gotta no. figure out how to do it. I think this like unscrews or something. These are about 80, 80 jets. Oops, I got it the wrong way. Yeah, that's the same way. Yeah. I'm about? trying to give them the. Oh, wait, I think this is threads on there. But you kind of get the idea, guys. Here you go, put the nose cone on, too. Yeah, I mean, it's quite a bit bigger than the F4. So, anyway. There you go. And this just screws on, I figured it out. There you go, nose cone's on now. And then the P Tots tube. P Tot. Uh, I know that goes in there. <laughs> this one will get Papa Dottie. Huh? What, Lori? I will say, though, maybe you guys heard me last night. I don't know if you did or not. Uh, Papa Dots on a uh, jet. jet is a lot of dots. A lot more than a prop. Sure. Fighter plane. Sure. Anyway, that goes on there. I don't have it all the way on, but this sticks way out here too. See the refueling tube? Uh huh. Yeah, that's cool. It is cool looking. It's really neat. I mean, I mean the scale this of goes, these things I is. Think goes right here. You know, guys, we talked about it. We talked about it over and over, but it's like amazing the, that a phone plane scale, comes out this scale now. I mean, I mean these things. I mean, you couldn't. We never got anywhere close to this scale with a balsa airplane. I know that goes on the rest of the way. I just, I just, I'm Her. just blown away. Don't knock you. Gonna knock I'm gonna knock it all apart again. Okay, I'll quit. It's just loose to now, but anyway. Quit messing with it. Sorry. It's hard not to play they, with. They it. can't see it over there. They but can't anyway, see the yeah, I mean, I'm just. Why would you want to build a? balsa plane when you can pull it out and do what we're doing today. <laughs> well, I, mean, I still like the balsa planes. It's just... Oh, I do. It's that. not... It's a different era now, let's say that. It's it's amazing to me for $350, you pull it out of the box. We could literally put this together in about 20 minutes now. You could have, have it you done. Could, you, could, you could have it in the mail and fly it the same, the same day. day. Yeah, that's the amazing part. Coming from where we used to be. I just, it's just, it, it I never mean, gets old to me seeing it. I just remember all the hours I spent, you know, just building a wing and thinking, boy, this is going to look neat in another couple of months. And going from that to this is just awesome. Yeah, it really is. And I mean, jets. We would have never thought we'd have had. Well, jets we had ducted fan Not jets, like this. But no. they were run on an old two stroke engines. They were crammed in the fuselage. They get hot. I mean, they they flew, but they flew, But but the problem was, when you built that plane out of balsa, the wing loading was El Crapo. Right. And the balsa airplane was just heavy back then. Now and, and the it, new ones are very light with the way they're laser cutting. Well, I mean, yeah, okay, you could do the same. You know, the, the but same now. Thing. Why would you do it? You could still do this and do an EDF in a composite airframe now. Well, they're, they're powerful This enough. airplane, the only way I know you'd build it even a little bit better or you could build this out of a of, of fiberglass. Fi fiberglass body and then you build up the wing. You know, I don't know if a fiberglass a body is lighter than a foam body, though. I don't really think so. I don't either. And they're strong. I'm amazed how strong a foam airplane actually is. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a lot of guys think foam, that's going to be weak and explode into a thousand pieces. And no, these sold up better than anything I've ever seen when they crash. I agree. I mean, I, I, I have no... I don't disagree on anything that we've said. I, anyway. I mean, maybe somebody has a disagreement with it, but I... Is the RC geek in here? I see congratulations, Chris, the RC geek. No, um, he just... Uh, he breaking was... news. Wolf has just won the second United States Seals. Oh, I saw he was in that, actually. He has the, uh, what the heck is that thing called? The Crusader, right? Yeah, F.A. Crusader. Crusader. He's got a big F.A. Crusader. He's been up at the national scale competition with, so he won it. Huh? Nice. I don't even. Okay. I he's a fellow YouTuber, the RC Geek. You've seen some. Oh of yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. 
Yeah, he did the big B-24 that I was showing. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The yeah. guy always does lots of neat airplanes. He just text messaged me. Who is this? No. Anyway, it's my other boss. It's my real work boss. Lame. Who made biscuits with sausage? I'm kind of checking out what's going on in the comments. It's always so crazy down there. Is it an A7? I thought it was an A6. I can't remember. No, A6 is the intruder. Isn't that a... A7 Corsair? F8. F8 Corsair? I don't remember. I don't remember. He's got the one where the wing lifts up like this, and his wing actually does it. It's got that airplane that's hanging up on the wall over there. I guess. What does he say? They're saying it's an A7 yeah. Corsair. Corsair 2, yeah, that's it. Okay, that's Just it. leave it's it up not there. A you gotta be channel when you take them on and off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you rip them out. put a number 16 gauge nail in the wall. Didn't hurt nothing. Keeps the plane from falling down. It should come up the wall. That's right. Anyway, it's cool. I'm really digging this airplane. We're gonna have this together in no time at all. I might try and get it and go fly it next weekend with Kevin. Because he's going to have the F4 to fly. You won't be here to pop a dot, though, on this one. Otherwise, I'd send it home with you. No. Nope. But you ain't going to be here. It takes me longer to pop a dot it than it does anything yeah. else on this. It, the pop a dot takes longer than putting It'll it together. It'll take two days to do that. <laughs> yep. And well, I'll leave I mean, it all apart that, for him. The big thing is he dot. likes it for when I, when I leave them all unput together. If I'd love, rather dot it without it. So it. I usually don't end up putting them together anymore because he takes them home to do the dotting and then he puts them together while he's got it there. Because it takes lot. 10 minutes to put it together. It's yeah, but but I'd rather have, like I said, if you guys If you ever get into doing the rivets, it's a lot easier to do. If you're looking it. at me and what I'm doing here, I take this off and I can lay it in my lap. And he can dot like away. Can dot it. It's a lot easier than that than trying to dot it that's all put together. Yeah. Like I've said, I think I've said that I don't know how many times, but uh, uh, if you do that, do it unassembled, and it's a lot easier, and you can sit there in your easy chair and uh, or at your table, on a table, because it, it, you know, if you're standing on your head doing it, it's not very fun. But anyway. Okay. You missed it, Lori. Grilled steak, baked potato, mushrooms. Y'all talking about dinner over here? Mm -hmm. Man, must be nice. I'm getting hungry reading your comments over here. F8 has the wing that goes up and down and changes the AOE. Yep, yep. That's the plane he had, and, and that's the one that's hanging up over there, but you can't see it. It's just barely off camera. Mine's the little bitty phone one, though. I don't have no big one. Tossing, tossing boss. And if you hadn't bought any of those airplanes, you need to go buy that because I think I've had more fun this year with the We've had a lot of fun with the little... boss airplanes. Yeah. Don't yeah. get me wrong. I love a big airplane just as much as anybody else that retracts and everything. Man, we have had a ball lately with the with little the planes. planes. I mean, the, the, There ain't nothing to tear up for landing gear or anything. You go and you yeah, just... I mean, the I, batteries are cheap. We've really had a good time with our little, uh, there's one over there, it's behind the subscription thing, but the little hand tosser planes, he's got the Dora right now, and I've got the little P-51, and they're a ball to fly those, and then we've got all the little jets, the MiG, I've got the big, the little MiG, and I've always liked that one, Hobby King's got their big MiG now. Well, I might purchase that new, new, uh, the one that you flew at no. Oh, the, the, the glider or the racing the, plane? The racing plane. The Havoc. Havoc. Yeah. That, that one's fun. That, I mean, you can... The, the, you, you don't have to fly it a million miles. You don't have to fly it a million miles an hour. But and you that, can. And that, oh, yes, you can. But that airplane actually has rudder. Yep. It has a rudder. It has the, ailerons the, and the, elevator. The, uh, the other side... The little one doesn't have, have it. But it doesn't... I mean, It doesn't need you, it. You don't need it. And this one actually has... If you haven't seen it before, the one we're talking about is behind me here. I can grab it, I guess. So y'all are all on the same page. I'm sure you've seen our last uh, one. These airplanes are 129 bucks. This little is. plane here, um, it does actually have, since we're in here, Lori Top Shot for a second. Yeah, I caught her off guard. She was, she was, this is the airplane. So this plane. actually does come with a spot in the tray to add a rudder if you wanted to, though. Yeah. Right out of the box. Yeah. 
So really hard. just giving you that heads up. Okay, and and this is the airplane that no, Wesley did Papa the combat Dada, with at Nall. Not this exact one. No, not this exact one. But Mine's a too plane like that. this, he he actually uh, this airplane hit so how many? I hit five planes and it kept flying. It kept oh. flying. Look at that nose art, huh? Custom on mine. Ready for, what does the staff forget? Ready for ready business? For no, ready for duty. I did ready for duty on mine. There you go. Look at that good looking plane. Does not come with the swatch key either. I added that. I thought it was cool. Does not come with the dots. Yep, and you can really see the papa dots on this one too. And I added the weathering. You can, I mean, guys, even on a little airplane, you could really pimp one out, you know? Papa Dots works on, I've said this and I've said it again, I don't make any difference in the scale of the dots. I do the same dots on every airplane. On a silver plane, they really look good. Silver though. or gray, they really look good. Anyway, that's my little Mustang. Front view. But I understand if you don't want to do it, it's more, I only do it because Wesley doesn't crash that often. <sighs> anyway, that was cool. Stencils for the FAA numbers. I've got the Cali graphics for them, but I don't put them on my airplanes anymore. I think that fad came and gone. I put them I was at Joe Nall and not a single person had them on there. I theirs. put them on the planes that I know that I'm not going to get rid I think of. that fad has come and gone already, to be real honest. Put it on the tail. But, yeah, I got the ones from Cali graphics. Because, and why I did it is what? because we were going to Nall. We were going to Nall and we did not know what to expect there at Nall since it was going to be a huge event and that's why I got them. The attitude thing has been for a while actually. When you guys register it says... It altitude. says that... What? He means altitude. Altitude. They were talking about... Altitude. Oh, they were talking oh, the about something completely foot, different. Yeah, yeah, they're they're yeah. talking about the, probably the 400 foot altitude that... that Yes. All the stuff that's coming along from the the uh, FAA. FAA gas burned us for sure. I thought I saw you use leather marker once pop it in. The... Uh, somebody was asking if I use the leather markers. I have done that before, but it does not look like what you just saw. It's way faster and way more aggressive let's put it that way but it doesn't leave the little black dots those little black dots really make a big difference of actually doing it by hand and but if you want to do it really fast you can take one of those yeah these uh, yep yeah. the leather one of these yeah. top looks like a, a spur and off of a one of these and you can do it really quick but it just doesn't look as good as doing it with the black marker but yeah, this is a lot work. faster. I mean, it's a lot faster. I think Ryan has actually put one of these on his Amazon store. If y'all are ever looking yes. for it. So. Yes. All right. We've tried it. We have tried it. It looks okay. It's not as good as doing it with the pen. And Ryan asked me to do something different on that Black Widow. Since it's black, I'm going to try to use a sil instead of a, a pen. A silver that pen. Has, He's going to try and do a paint instead pen. Instead of a pen that has black in it, I'm going to use a pen that has silver in it to see if it will. Worst comes to work, if it don't look good, just do one wing. So it's still easy to primer it over. It's still it. got a dot in it. I mean, that's. Worst comes to worst, if it don't look good, though. That's right. Just tell me before you go to the whole flank right, when we well, paint it. But anyway, we're going to try that too. Well, yeah, we'll give it a shot. What the heck? And then, you know, we, I've kind of, somebody asked me about World War I planes, and I've got an idea of how to do the stitching on those. But mm. we haven't done any World War I planes. Yeah, so. I've got three of them. You could do it. No, but they're all Monaco. Yeah, yeah. But I, you know, the World War I planes kind of been taking a second. Yeah, you know, nobody makes the, one of those anymore. Really, there's not a foam World War I plane out, is there? I can't think. Well, that e Albatross. Has, yeah, there's one. Dynam has the Albatross, but, but no, there's not really an SC5 or a Camel. I can't believe nobody makes a Camel yet. Phone. The problem is, is they're so windy, bangy, and they're well. They're, everybody's into jets now, and too. they're not. They're not the easiest thing in the world to to, to uh, land. They 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 have a tendency to nose over, and it's just you know. I think it's kind of like the guys that used to build Model Ts. They're all dead, and and they don't. And nobody cares about a Model T anymore to build one. Uh, probably uh, that's kind of a dying world. 
I was just kind of reading along the comments right there. SC5, um, Ryan, that was the E Flight made the SC5, but I don't think anybody makes one in phone now, do they? Short nose, good luck on the CG. Yep, yep. yep. Uh, most yeah. of them are that way. I have a uh, Fokker DR1 triplane. It's about this big. Yeah. And, it, and it's got it it's got like a pound of weight in yep. the nose of it. Yep. Yeah, behind the cowl, yeah, like either yeah. a little bitty plane. It's got more weight than the nose than it does in the whole they plane. They call them short couple. Yep. Yep. Sure enough. And there are a hard thing to get. Yeah, Park Zone used to have an SC5, but I can't think of anybody that currently makes one. You know, I was watching that video the other night. Does so Park Zone still make one? It was fun. Okay, it was fun. Yeah, it, but they don't make it now is what I'm getting at. I think the only World War One plane that's out now currently in foam is the Dynam Albatross, I think. And I flew one not too long ago. It flew pretty good. I mean, for a World War One plane, it's not like amazing. The Pete and Paul, we flew the other day. I was going to mention this to you, and I haven't forgotten, and I'm going to mention it now. It's still tail heavy. Mm -hmm. It needs It's not weight. bad, but yeah, it yeah, probably it is. Nose it's, weight. It needs nose weight. It, what, Lori? If you go back to one of our videos, we did it about four or five videos. The big wood six, Pete and Paul. The old wood Pete and Paul that I've had forever. I think day. it's actually called a Pete and Paul. Well, whatever. whatever. We call it a Pete and Paul. Uh, -A -L -L. But anyway, uh, if you watch that plane, it, it needs nose weight in it. I, I, know, Mostly does I keep seeing a lot of guys saying no, that they had one. They had one. I'm saying I don't think anybody currently Who has does one. It? Other than Dino. I think that's the only one that has a foam World War One plane in production, not well, discontinued. You know, another thing is it's it's a uh, it's a uh, uh, wing and uh, uh, and you got to get. You know, biplanes in bi general lately gotta, haven't seemed to been as hot to me. If you build one and I built one, you have to put positive incidents in the bottom. Yeah, but in a foam one, you don't got to worry about any of that. Yeah, you do. It's got yeah, a fly right. They put them together the that way. The, wing, the bottom wing starts flying first, and then it, when it levels out, the top wing. So, I mean, it's... Uh, biplanes are not the easiest things in the world to build. Uh, yeah, somebody probably. wanted to know if I could get the gear down. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, probably not. The wires are all hanging out underneath right now. I didn't... I, it's not actually it's, put it's together not, right This now. is not a, We just kind of went... And stuck yeah. it together. We didn't actually build this tonight. Um, Later. We will when we do the flight video. I'd be sure and get Lori where I cycle the gear for you guys. It's just, uh, we just kind of took it out of the box and now we're BS and sorry that just happens on this show. If you're new to it, this happens every week. In the first 30 minutes, we unbox the plane and then after that, we sit here and BS with all of our guys that come every week. So hopefully. You're enjoying it. Um, the plane looked beautiful for guys that are getting it later. Um, there's not a whole lot I can just pick it up and show you right now because it's all put together. And if I pick it up, it'll all fall apart. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, anyway. Sorry I can't get the gear out right now. The, 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 and I get off topic really easy. I'm sorry. The plane looks beautiful. I can't wait to fly it. It's one of the biggest 80 millimeter fuselages I've ever seen. I mean, it's very long. From I mean it's it's a good four and a half foot probably just sitting here long for an eighty that's a good size fuselage. Yeah, it's I've got a tape measure somewhere, pretty, but pretty it is long. bigger than the eighty millimeter F four that we did last week. And I, I really did. Do... You uh, show that against this <laughs> servo tester. Oh wait, your dog ate your servo tester. It, it's not that I couldn't hook it up. It's that the wires aren't hooked up it into says the airplane. On the box, but See, I'm anyway, hanging down here. I got to run them up to the front of the airplane. Where it's at? It's uh, sixty. You, you know, oh, all the, that. All that. It's sixty-nine inches long. There you go. Sixty-nine inches long. Verified by tape measure. And the wingspan is nothing. <laughs> the wingspan's it's like tiny. Thirty-one inches wide. So you missed it. There it is. Bam! That Throw that up there again for the guys. There's your uh, product page, guys, if you're interested in it. $349.99. There it is, flying. I'm pretty sure I know the guy that was probably flying it in the pictures. He might be in the chat tonight. Just saying. I don't know if that's even a picture of him. I haven't flown one of these before. I think it was the, uh, the rat guy. Might have been flying it. Okay. Known as 
pilot of Ryan. Right, yeah. Anyway. No, no. The sh- the sh- uh, the the Ryan pilot. I keep seeing the pilot Ryan. Pilot Ryan. And he puts on his because I keep saying puts it reminds me of something that I've seen before. And the pilot Ryan. Yeah. Uh, I don't have any sunglasses right now, or else I'd do it. Ryan's got a new logo. If y'all haven't seen it. And you need to go in there and look at it, but it reminds you of something else. It is When I else. say that, he puts his glasses on when I say it reminds me of something else. What are you else. scrolling down through? What, what are we going shopping with everybody right now? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm just scrolling through all the pictures. God, they are. Really I'm not right. saying that, Ryan. I'm being funny. It's Pilot Ryan is who I mean. I'm trying to be silly with it. I'll say your name all day, man. I don't think that looks like... I don't see no corn in that. Yeah, that might not have been at your field. Did you take those pictures, Ryan, or no? On the uh, on this motion website on that one. Because I don't see the cornfield in this one. That might not have been him. Anyway. Rat bands. AMA in these meetings. I don't... I'm trying to keep up with the chat. Y'all are having something completely different here. They're, they're that rat wears his sunglasses, sunglasses at night. That's the truth. <laughs> well, if you don't understand what I'm saw, talking about looking at his logo, it looks like Ray-Ban. <laughs> Just throw it out there. Well, what the hell? You know, for the people that don't understand, it looks... Looks good. He did the silver one. Okay. There you go. I know you float it. And if you haven't ever seen Ryan's video, you might go check out his channel too of the Bunny Fighter. He did the Bunny Fighter version of this where the drop tanks are carrots on it and the plane's blue and it's got a rabbit down the side of it. It was a real jet. It was called the Bunny Fighter. It had grass all down the side of it. Now you've never seen it? If you haven't ever seen it, guys... Go check out Ryan's video of the bunny fighter. It's hilarious. I think it's still he has it, I think. I don't think he ever sold that airplane. Yeah, I think I found out where they Does that go it. there? Oh, okay. Yeah, this looks cool. Right? right? Oh, yeah, that's where it goes. Right here. That looks cool. Huh? Yeah, there you go. That goes right there. That goes right there. Goes right in there. There you go. That's funny. That does actually go in there. They, they didn't send me. we got to make another one put it on. Look at that. we got special new uh, side vortice generators on ours. I can find it. Don't have to read no instructions from myself. Who needs their instructions? That's right. Brian Bands equal rat Babs. I don't get it. Beans, show your dad the video. Show my dad what the, video? The, the bunny video. The the bunny fighter, yeah. I get Laurie to load it up, but Mr. I don't know how easy it'd be. Mr. Airbus, if I get custom color max paint from Home Depot to touch up a model, what kind of paint do I want to get? Maybe Acrylic. Acrylic, yeah. I can answer that. Dave Marshall is asking what kind of paint he wants to get to run through his airbrush. From Home Depot. Do not get latex. Your airbrush will work for about 30 seconds and quit working forever. If you're going to do it, get acrylic. acrylic. And Unless you have better luck than I did with latex, but yes, I've never had good luck You with will it. have to thin it. You'll probably have to thin it, but with you an want acrylic... It, you want it to be... Let Wesley tell you, but you want it to be really... Um, you can thin your acrylic paint from Home Depot with Windex. Or if you want to buy actual Airbus medium, you can thin it with that. You need to buy that on the Pilot Ryan. There you go. Network. Pilot Ryan. Pilot Ryan. Pilot Ryan. Ryan Ryan Pilot. He gets gets money for that. That's right. PilotRyan.com. And he needs all the support you can give him. (laughs) PilotRyanMedia.com. Sorry, I messed that up. The last time I seen him, they looked like they were starving to death. There you go. He just dropped the Bunny Fighter link. There Save you go. it, guys. Uh, or did Kowiski drop it? Did. Kowiski dropped it. Sorry. Dave Kowiski just dropped it. Go check out the Bunny Fighter if you haven't ever seen it before. After the show, of course. Where's, your, where's that dinner? Where's that? Is that right there? there? No, no, it's right there. It's right behind oh, okay. It's right there. Right here. Somebody was asking, so we're going to grab it. We're going to show you the air top air view. Media. Top view. Make sure the lid's closed. Yep. So I don't spill it all over the airplane. Here you go, guys. This, this, lasts for this is actually on. 
Ryan's Amazon store if you go to look for it, but media airbrush cleaner this also works great as a cutting agent though if you need to thin your uh, airbrush paints so any kind of acrylic paint you can use this with so anyway it's on there this gigantic bottle is like 10 bucks and this is a ton a ton a ton a ton a ton of it i mean you can see i've used just under like a third of it and i've had this for like a year so this is good stuff, lasts a long time. Of course, he's not painting whole airplanes like no, this. No, and normally I just weather and stuff. There you go. Uh, you did it. It's because you put that weird uh, missile uh, right on. Damn it. Damn it. What it goes under here? I think it goes down there, there somewhere. It goes in go. I don't know where it goes. But we don't know what we're doing. Back to the comments. If y'all think we know what we're doing, you're crazy. We're just, we're just plain crazy. <laughs> Plane crazy. What was it? Car crazy was the yeah, other he, guy. He, he, uh, somebody crazy. said there. <laughs> no, but. GB Linden says he likes the gamer chairs. You like the gamer chairs? Yep. Yeah. You know, I got these on the deal, too. You, you can you get what, these off of Amazon also. You can get these also. on Pilot Run Short. That's too. right. But these are, uh, if you are interested in these, I got them on sale for 100 bucks off of Amazon. They weren't bad. Just type in gaming chairs. They, they are come right up. I will say. They're not bad. They even have, uh, you can't see it right now, but it's window. even got feet rest. So you can kick back and, you know, you can lay down. Can you see me? I don't think you can see me, but I can. I mean, I could crash out in this chair. You put your feet up. It's actually got feet rest. My feet are out here by dead. Yeah, come here. Here, you want to see my toes? But, uh, it's falling apart already. You're right. <laughs> well, it's falling apart. I don't know. The show? Probably. We're pretty silly. It happens. Ah, we just have a good time, and that's all that matters. Uh, How cold up there, Rico? You know, it, speaking of cold, it's pretty cold here. I think it was 85 today. Shit, it was close to 90. Y'all are complaining about cold. We're sweating our butts off. Yeah. Going camping. Uh oh, here we go again. All right. All right. Whoa. 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 Look at that donation. Red Bam. Baron, we appreciate that so much. You, you. Yeah. Thanks, Fred, for the Fred Baron for hooking us up again, as always, man. Yeah. Thank you so much, Fred. Anybody, we got some more MIG money. Anybody else want to throw some more money our way? <laughs> 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 Beers. Oh, nice. All right, all right. If I use that to thin acrylic paint, does it change the shade of the color? Specifically, if I match the Blue Angel's blue color and then thin it, will it come out like baby blue? No. If you shake it and you put it in a thing and then thin it with this, this has no color additives to it. All this is, is a medium, which means it's a, I forget what that is actually called. The short term is what this does is there's a certain amount of parts per thousand in paint of pigment. Pigment is ground up pieces of chalk or whatever they're using, acrylic in this case. And then a medium is, in acrylic case, is normally an alcohol, or a water or whatever and that's why Windex uses, usually works really well because Windex doesn't have any color to it. I know it's blue but it's just the chemical it is. This is clear. Rubbing alcohol works but I don't really like it as a medium on acrylic. But anyway what it does is it suspends it and so instead of having 1,000 parts per whatever now you have 1,000 parts per thinner and it, it makes it thinner. But to answer your question untechnically no, it will not change the color of it. Use it all you want. You can make it as thin as you want. If you want to put 10,000 coats on, just put a lot of this in there. You can do 10,000 coats. But if you leave it thick, it will stick up the coat. Yeah, if you leave it too thick, though, it'll stick up, and it's gross, and it makes a big mess. North Jersey, I said. It's kind of like using the Joe air Crest spray. Valley. Hey, go whiskey. whiskey! In honor of the Mary Boozer B-24. Thanks, yep, man. Thank you. Hey, I got mine. He got his too. Look at I that. Got mine. You I you like talked us into making it. the shirts. Look at this. I He's got it, it on. I got it on tonight. I Jeez. love it. I really do. And, and the color on this one, I, I mean, I'm just the color sure. really pops on that. I mean, it's, it's it, very bright it's, compared to a lot of the other shirts. As detailed as this is, I mean, it's really 
Good. I think it's the color you got too. Oh, yes, that gray. gray. I mean, everything. I don't know. I mean, even the boozer on the back is real. It's clear. really clear. Yeah. I don't know if y'all see that, but the boozer on the back is just. It's just really, really clear. Good. I don't know if it's the gray of this shirt, that lighter color, or what. But the B twenty four looks good. Everything looks good yeah. on that one. Moonshine money. So go out there to the Pilot Ryan show and, and order this shirt. And order our shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Ryan. We have to give him a little bit of a hard time where it's not fun, yeah. though, you know? Yeah. We're all buddies here. Yep. We wouldn't uh, be making fun if it wasn't our buddy. That's right. No, I'd still be making fun of him. Hey, we haven't got any new things, but anyway. Well, yeah, we have. Well, yeah, we I do. can't believe it. So, have you guys noticed that we've been putting the subscriber count up in the corner? Over, yeah. It's not up there now. It's not there right now. Lori could hit the Where? button. I don't see it up be there. Right now. Where, where? Nah, there it is. Right over there. So I don't know if you've noticed, in two weeks, we've got almost, what is it, 200 subscribers in like two weeks yeah. since Joe and all. Yeah. It's, it's amazing been, how it's fast this is growing guys. right now. And we um, all thank you. We thank y'all every week. I, it, word of mouth, whatever it is, but it's been growing like crazy, and but we really know, appreciate the fun, it. The funny part is that we sit, I, I'm seeing the same guys in here. We got know. our same crew that comes by every week, you know? Yeah, and yeah. then it is. Please advise Roaring Top or Admiral. Either one. Either one is a good battery. Um, I mean, it depends on your budget, but they're almost the same. Uh, if you're going to go for a really high CPAC, if you want to go on and spend the money, the Roaring Top 65C uh, big batteries are great. I have not seen one get puppy yet. If you're, gonna fly one of if you're these, flying these, go with an Admiral or a, either one of those top, batteries is a great sure battery. you get a very high C rating well, battery. Well, I mean, you know what I'm saying. You don't really these need the Admiral the Pro, but, them, but don't. Get a get an Admiral or whatever if you're going to get jets. Yes, Admiral or RC Jet Works, Roaring or Tops. Top. Roaring Top is the same as RC Jet Works. They're sold by the same people, but yeah. Either one of those two brands, you're perfectly safe. If you're going to fly a jet. Well, they work. They work great in other things, too, so but just, I have... And, I don't want to go down the rabbit hole again. Yeah, we did this the other week, but you know, I have all the different brands of batteries. Those two are my favorite. I'm going to leave it there. They're all made in the same darn factory. There's three factories that make all the lipos in the world. So, but what you pay for in the C rating is what you get on an Admiral or an RC Jetwork. There's the big difference. With all the other Chinese knockoff and crap some brands, of those. they'll say 35C. They might be 10. And they don't ever know, and there's no way to test it, and I'd rather well, stick I, with a company that I know I can trust. I and that's as easy as I'm going to make that. I'm, I'm, I'm a little no little fight little, about I'm batteries I'm going to stick a little bit in here. I bought some other type batteries because I was flying the prop. I had a T28, and a, a, you can get away with the... A little bit less expensive batteries if you're flying flying prop jobs, but you stick those batteries in this one time and they will puff up like a horny toad, and that's the honest truth. I mean, they just really just and you're yeah. That's not so. I have bad, we have some of our Roaring Top. Well, they're not Roaring Top. They're they're actual RC Jet Works branded batteries, and they are holding up really really well. Yeah. To, with, I mean, with the Florida's heat, and we the, fly them like crazy with them. The, I've been very impressed with yeah. RC Jetworks Jet brand batteries. Well, you was also honest a opinion. I've used a bunch of different things, guys, and I'm just telling you the RC Jetworks batteries we've been using are as hard as a rock. Still, they haven't puffed. We've been flying them hard. We've really, really liked those batteries. I'm not sponsored by any of them, any of these battery companies. So I'm telling you my honest opinion. If you want it. RC Jetworks or an Admiral Pack are the two packs that I would recommend you buy. That's it. I've tried them all. I've had the Hobby Kings. I've had the HRBs. I've had them all. I'd spend the twenty to thirty dollars more a pack and buy a good pack from Roaring Top Seventy C to a, or the RC Jetworks or the Admiral Pros, whatever you want to buy. And this is the end of the, the battery debate because I don't like going into this because everybody fights me over it. Yeah. 
If you want my honest opinion, because somebody asks me every week, those are the two brands that I would recommend you buy. Admiral or Roaring Top RC Jetworks batteries. That's it. I think that RC Jetworks batteries are the best batteries on the market right now. I really do. Well, and there is some choices that you can get that is smaller, smaller size. Yeah, um, they get more compact they get and lighter. Compact, but, but we won't get in there. But you can. Anyway. If you favorite battery pack inside. on the market is RC Jetworks. And End of well, story. <laughs> All right, there you go. Yep, yep. Next question. Ah, something other than batteries. Anybody got anything else going on, Lori? Florian. No, nope, you started with the video. Oh, Jesus. We did it again. Well, I mean, but but it's going to go the same way. I've got a five-year-old Admiral. Admiral, I've strong. got Florians or whatever. Yeah, and you well, know, I... When I started back in the hobby, I bought a bunch of Florian 2200 3S packs. And, and I still have out. every one of them, and they still work. But they were the other on big, planes. Yeah, the other thing is I don't fly jets on them. They're flying little plot planes. And, and they get away with uh, I always cycle charge them down to 3A. I, I, take care of my, yeah, I take care of my batteries. I balance charge. I charge at 1C. I don't charge at 5C. Trying to charge them really fast. Um, new here, but loving the show and the jet. Welcome, Colin well, Colham. Yeah. Uh, sorry you missed us actually taking yeah. it out of the box. We appreciate you coming um, by. If we you, do appreciate you being here. If you're new to the channel, we, if you're not, please subscribe to us. Uh, but if you are, thank you. Will you guys flash the camera? What do they mean by flash the camera? Will you guys flash the camera? <laughs> Wanna see my titties? What? You wanna see my butt or what? <laughs> it's an ugly butt. It's yeah. 67 years old. You wouldn't want to see it. That's right, Marshall. It's all for fun. Our hobby is not That's a job. Right. You got it right, Jackson the Aviation. This is for fun, guys. We're here to give our opinions. Papa is awesome. Yeah, yeah thank he is. You. Oh, they liked your uh, I like it. Toes. You know, and, you know, there's somebody put on their zippy batteries. We got zippy batteries and, and as long as you know, and I've got HRB batteries, and they're fine That's when we're flying our Corsair and our Spitfire and all that stuff. We use our HRB but batteries, please. and they're fine. But when we fly our jets, they're they're very hard on them. Here in Florida, I don't know how it is up in the Arctic tundra of the north where you guys live, some of you. But here in Florida, when it's 98 and it's a million degrees outside, and we're all sweating to death, it's hard on packs. Man, it is it is tough. And I'm a firm Thank believer you, in Wesley. The... That's what we want to know. We will be moving over. Yeah, Wayne, if you go through it, go see Andy. If you're going to do it, get get your batteries from Andy at RC Jetworks. Uh, he'll be really appreciated. Andy's a great guy. Um, tell him we sent you over. We'd, we'd love for him to know that the guys are seeing his stuff. So, you know, Andy is the one that built the HSD Super Viper that was on our channel the other week. It wasn't given to us. The airplane was bought. So I don't want y'all to think that we reviewed it because he gave it to us. Everything that you've seen from RC Jetworks on the channel, we paid for. So yes. it's because we like the product, not because he's given it to us. No. We really do stand by Andy. He does great work. Um, you know, and, and the, the HSD Super Viper isn't the plane for everybody. Um, if you crash a lot, don't, don't buy that buy airplane. It. Because the replacement, the replacement parts, parts are expensive. Yeah. <laughs> so, but if you're a competent flyer like we are, and you you know you're going to enjoy the airplane, I I I have no question in my mind that everybody should love it. And and, and Kevin Fales, Kevin's been flying the heck out of it I since mean, he, he got it. He he really loaded the plane up to where it would. Luis uh, Lopez wants to know himself. if we're going to put a center burner in this. Probably. I will probably be putting yes. a light burner, center yeah, burner light in it. Burner. Yeah. Uh, I know a lot of guys like the uh, RC Geek, no, Guniac. Guniac. I'm sorry. A lot of guys are doing the Guniacs right now. I have a Guniac coming to try. Uh, you know me. I want to be fair on the channel, so I'm going to try them all. But uh, look at that. Pilot Ryan coming out with it tonight. Ooh. Making it <laughs> rain. Yeah, thanks, Ryan. You're the man. Thanks, Ryan. We appreciate you, man, everything you do for the hobby, having us on the show. 
All the good stuff, man. And, Thank and you. The man but, has three kids. Yeah. And he, he's working all that job. He works a full time job and has kids and still does all this for us. So I'm going to have to figure out how to do this. Do what? Put the super chats on. I don't know how to do it. You got to learn how to do that. I'll teach you. Teach. I'm going to have to teach Papa how to go super I chat and spend you. money. I got to reciprocate that. Uh, yeah, no. We do appreciate it. And, but like I was saying, I will probably do a light burner LED afterburner. Don't we already There's, have one for this? I don't have one for this. I've got one coming for the F-104. I have a Guniac coming for the F-18 or the F-4. I can't remember which ones I'm getting them for. All of them. But yeah, we're getting afterburners for everything. <laughs> what? Thank you for your help. Now go piss off. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, you've been hanging out with Ricky too much. <laughs> right? You've been hanging out with Ricky way too much right now. I hope it gets to be 30 degrees up there pretty soon. Talking like that when I'm still flying. See you in December. See you in hell. <laughs> oh, man. It's a good time, though. I love it, man. You know, every week this is... You know, it's, it's like hanging out with our buddies every yeah. Sunday night. It's hilarious, you know. We are looking at trying to do a fly-in at some point. I'd like to do it in the winter time yeah, if we were going to do yeah, it. Yeah, we're going to do Something it. Something where you guys from the uh, frozen tundra of the Arctic North can come down and hang out in Florida for a, a weekend. It's, you know, I, here it is in October. And it's still yeah, I mean, it's October right now, and it's 85, 90 degrees in the daytime. You don't want to be here yeah, right now. It's I'm blistering. I'm ready for it to cool off. But, you know, normally it's really nice in January. Farming? Hello, Ryan. Where in Florida? Are you asking where in Florida we are? No, Farmer Man's going to be making a trip down. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I know that Hangar 51 is also from around this area, so maybe we'll have to get together and fly with him. I, I talked to him a while back, and I'm sorry that if I forget to ever message back to guys, it's just, we're busy. But I, I well, always I, I try know. and get a hold of people, and, but I know I've talked to Hangar 51 before, and he lives around here in Central Florida, and we might want to meet up one day over at Lark's, and we could fly together, man. Another thing cool. is we we just now taken on a larger club yeah and we don't want to force that on we don't want to step on toes those. of the people that we're just we moving wanna, in with. yeah so it will possibly be a year from now before we ever even attempt that and get to know these guys over there at that new club and see we we, we just want we, we don't want to step on toes so yeah we want to be good i'll be club down in florida and, joe Chris Bell, I have a hard time seeing that from here, but I'll be down in Florida in a few weeks flying. Well, come visit us. We're at Lark's RC Field, usually on Sundays. Um, Lori normally works on Saturdays, so we don't go out flying normally on Saturdays unless she's off. And that's in Tavares, Florida. There's a seaport really close to the flying Tiberis, field, funny Florida. enough. So you'll see some seaplanes over there from time to time. North Carolina, is it raining? What's that noise? No. Oh, that you playing with the table. Yeah, Andy is great. Super Viper run his 2S receiver pack and his 3S turbine pack on it. Yep, George Watts. I've got the 2S receiver pack on the HSD Super Viper we have. You Works know, great. you know, talking about how many's in the chat tonight. 66. Ryan had 160. Yeah, Ryan was breaking records <laughs> last yeah, night on Ryan his show. Ryan was breaking records last night on his show because we were there. Yeah, that's because we were there. That's right. Without the boozers, he would have had two. That's right. <laughs> he's gonna come and piss off. He's gonna, he's gonna, gonna call us on the phone here and be like, "Hey, you damn hey. <laughs> Oh, by the way, go buy Ryan's store and buy something. Right. <laughs> no. Uh, what club in Florida? It's called uh, Lark's. 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 Lark's RC Club in Tavares, Florida. Somebody is blowing me up on it's Instagram Ryan. right now. <laughs> Ryan's over here. Yeah, you no, it ain't Ryan, but yeah. it's funny. Well, guys, I had a great time tonight. I hope you all enjoyed it, as always. Um, the MIG looks absolutely beautiful. We got off topic like we always do, um, but we hung out and had a great time. 
Uh, hopefully y'all enjoyed the unboxing, like I said. Before we go, one quick look for the guys that got in late. Let's let's just kind of uh, take it back apart. apart again. Let's yeah, pull it apart real again. quick. Just pull the tail off later. and show the guys the parts again real okay. quick. Okay, well, here's your You can part. just slide that off. I'll give you a part. Just real part. quick, you know, there's a lot of guys that got in late to the party. Let's give them the quick rundown of the MIG again. For you guys that are just getting in, here's the tail. I know you guys have come in here expecting to see this, so even though you're light, I'm going to do it again. We're going to do an unboxing backwards and put it back yep. in the box. Yep. So there's your uh, hinged rudder. We're going to take it back apart. Look at that. Huh? This is a first. Oh, we forgot to do that. All the plastic receiver hitches and hinges and pieces that take all your uh, elevators and such. This is the aft section. I love, love the blue on the bottom of this. Really pops out good. Maybe that's where that sticks in, huh? Maybe, maybe on the It probably goes right, right here. It goes into there. This maybe. probably goes something like that. Oh, but I don't know right now. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at what? Look at that. Another super chat. Guys, we appreciate We do it. appreciate we every one of them. How much that helps George us. Watts. Thank you so much. George hey, how's my hair look? Awesome. Uh oh, is that a bald spot? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, George. All right, here's the uh, tail. You do have a plastic part. This, this piece sticking out is plastic, by the way. Not foam. Anyway, hinged again on your elevator. Oh, I lost focus here. Hang on. Oh, come on. There it goes. Lost focus for a second there. Does it have a... Uh, that probably doesn't. That's what? that's a that's a missile. This is a missile, also known as a drop tank, because everybody gets mad at me when I call it a bomb or anything other than a drop tank. So it's a drop tank, but I'm calling it a bomb and a missile all at the same time with plastic leading edges on this bomb piss, missile drop tank <laughs> pistol. It's a pistol. Anyway, there you go. It's coming back apart slowly. Why will that not come off? We didn't screw that in there. Ah. All right, you want to take the other one off real quick? Yeah, well. All right, close-up shot. As we said before, the paint job on the free-wing airplanes is absolutely phenomenal, as always. I love the blue and white. I do not like the green and silver paint job on this airplane. Personal opinion, as always. If it had been me, I'd get the silver and green one. But that's well, you like ugly airplanes, so, you know. Although I don't like the green wheels. It looks hideous on this airplane. I'm probably going to repaint my wheels blue, even if they're supposed to be green. Uh, the wheels are real soft rubber. If, if some, some people yeah, the, uh, about the a lot wheels. of guys always ask us about the wheels they're are actually got, really soft on this one. They've got real good spinning action to them. I mean, they're really... Uh, Mine's touching the foam, so it don't spin you know, that this one, this one does pretty good over here. Yeah, oh, yeah that one does spin a lot smoother. Mm -hmm. Anyway. The doors fit wonderfully. I Hinged mean, again all the, the way around. The, the fit and the finish on the uh, the gears, uh, the landing gear is just what you expect on a free wing airplane. Get it? Because he loses focus. Ha ha. Ha ha. What did I miss? Maybe Wesley needs Redlin. Ha ha. Wesley used Wesley to take Redlin. Redlin. That's why he's not a real pilot right now and it kind of sucks actually, but... Whatever. At least I get to play with toy airplanes. All right, last shot here. We were talking about this earlier. That little window that's right, well, here. I don't got a finger. This is actually oh. not got a glass. That is a hole. So I think this is going to actually help this airplane vent a little heat when it gets in the sun, and maybe not Gator as bad. Anyway, uh, I did put the nose cone on since earlier too. So now you can see the tube. That is a really neat looking uh, pedo tube. There you go, the black. Beautiful airplane, guys. Absolutely beautiful airplane. Are we reversing this? Yeah. Actually put it back in the box in reverse or what? It needs a seven channel transfer. So this plane, just to tell you, I'm not gonna put it together because it's gonna go back to dad's house and he's gonna pop a dot it before he puts it together, so. 
I take it, it takes a six cell, 4,000 to 6,000 LiPo battery, and I'm going to take that to 2,200. What? It's, uh, what are you talking about? This is so, probably a 5,000 no, success. Says six cell to 4,000 4, to 6,000. Okay, yeah, so 5,000 will be nice in this one. Right. But uh, anywhere from a 4,000 to a 6,000 is what the box is recommending. We'll give a, you one more shot of the inside. It has 100 amp ESC. It's got a 3530 18 kVA brushless outrunner motor. 12 blade fan. Look out, it's got a blue box. It's going to crash. Sorry, I had to make that joke. I've flown a bunch of airplanes with blue boxes and never had an issue with it, so it's a scale and 80 too. millimeter. I don't think that's the problem. Not gonna say it couldn't be an issue, but I have not had issues with blue boxes. But there it is. It's put away. It's done. Guys, as always, well, thank y'all so know. much. Uh oh, Lori said stop. Hey. What the heck, what's the best way to remove the plastic canopy without tearing stuff up? Carefully. I always peel them off, but I'm just really careful about it. Because you yeah, can't, you just, can't stick a knife behind it, because then you start tearing stuff. Off the you thing. just got to be real just, careful yeah. peeling it off. Um, you usually, you know, what I found out, if you usually get one of the For edges showing up, it slow and sexy. If, if you Thanks usually MCSSI. get one of the edges up, it will actually peel up kind of by itself. But on this particular one, but, but like Wesley says. The best just, way really is to kind of pick a corner and just start peeling it peeling off. Peeling it up um, and then it will, if you ever get it broke loose, it will it just peel It just peels right off. off real easy. They put it so, on with foam tack. It's yeah. not really ever put on with anything real so, hard to get off, so. Thank you again, M S. What is it? M C S S. I, I can't ever remember your name, Mike. Thanks. We do appreciate that super chat, brother. Yep. As always. Yeah. We we are uh, all you guys that do that for us. You don't know how much we appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks. Oh no! Did, did Wayne lose his bomb? Yeah. Oh no! Like oh, uh, Brian saying uh, Brian saying oh, credit card after scoring the paint around. Uh, okay, so know. maybe probably so. sticking a credit card out of Kansas. Well, That's Wayne, I'm idea. sorry to hear that. Um, we're glad to see you back, man. You're always welcome here at the Boozers Channel. We love having you. I hope you're still enjoying the stuff I sent you a long time ago. I hope you did. Did you, hey Wayne, did you ever get the stuff I sent you? Just out of curiosity. I don't think I ever heard back from you on that. Hang in there, Wayne Lee. That's right, hang in there, Wayne. You're loved here at the Mary Boozers channel. Man, Wayne's been around a long time with us. I think he's one of our original. I think he was literally within the first 50 people that ever sent to us. So. Oh, he was within the first 20. Right. Wayne's been around us for a long, long, long time. Is it Walrat? It's hard for me to read. Walrat uh, Aviation. I don't you. have a link to the Lark's RC field. Lori, can you drop a link to that? Uh, it's okay. just, it? yeah, you could, yeah, they have a website. Lori's looking it up right now. Hair dryer. I, you know, I'm afraid of using heat on them always, though, because I don't want to melt it. Or bubble the hell out of the foam. So that's why I don't like using heat around my foam planes if I don't have to. I do use a hobby iron a lot of the time when I'm putting decals on, but you keep it on a very low setting. You put, yeah, if you're using the hobby iron that you would put monocoat on with, and you're wanting to put the decals on, like calligraphic detail. Yeah, we, we put our calligraphic really on thick, with. They're really thick and they stick. But it, you know, Wesley's right. If you if you Papa put it on, finished doing the A4 Skyhawk yeah. tail graphic yesterday. What a, a pain, pain in, in the, the butt. butt! Oh my God! Let's show them that. Go get it. Yeah, sure. that is a real pain in the rear. But it's a part Any of luck the on it? Yeah. Is that the Larks for Tavares, Florida? Yeah. yeah. There's a couple Larks RC fields. They're important ones. You got it though. You put it in there. Yeah, yeah. Banging into everything on the way in here. Otherwise, it wouldn't be walking with an RC plane. He's got to hit the wall at least four times carrying it in here. I, I see him bonking stuff. He's doing it right. <laughs> I called him. I said he's going to hit that thing on four things before he gets in there. Got it right. 
So I don't know if Kevin's still in here or not, but we don't have a battery in it, so it won't set on the nose. But there it is. That is a royal pain in the butt to put that sticker on back there. To get that lined up. And then he got the other side too, so you can see he didn't cheat with the cutouts for the stickers. Oh, well, anyway, and, and trying to hit those little things right there on the each one of those little runners is a royal pain. Wayne says he got the items I sent him. Good. Excellent, Wayne. I'm, I'm glad to see you back. Stick around, man. We've missed you. I'm not one the bombs off. No. Oh, drop tank. That's not a bomb. That's a drop tank. Looks like a big bomb to me. That's right. I don't know why you want to fly this thing. It flies good with the bombs on it, actually. The drop tanks. The drop tanks. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. This, this is a, you know, I really like this jet. It's a low rider. But anyway, you guys, uh, the, uh, Callie does a wonderful job on these uh, yeah. uh, uh, graphics. Uh, to give you a little bit of uh, choices on those graphics. Just wait till she gets all the graphics. Oh my I God, the yet. airliner! Holy moly! She's gonna she's gonna be able to retire on airliners. Yep. And just so we're throwing out the deal, we're gonna have some graphics. That's on the, right. We're gonna uh, have some graphics on get, Kelly Graphics if, if we can, can ever figure out how to do it. Do it. It's Her not part. Laurie's fault. We're trying to get the information over to Cali yeah, yeah, to get the stickers up. Part. When we get them up, we will definitely let all of you guys know that we have the stickers on Cali's website when they go And up. you will be able to have stuff like this. Don't be showing the titties on the no channel. Titties, no titties, no titties. You keep it, you keep it no work titties. safe here. But here's another pop-up, I don't know where it's at. Where is it? and he has to go top. But th this will be a nose Here's on. a new one. A new nose art one right here. It's upside down. Upside down, sorry. <laughs> there you go. There's his new one, the hula lady, the hula girl. So that that's going to be a nose art. And you can call her whatever you want to call her. Hula girl. Hula, hula. I call her hula, hula baby of mine is what I put Hula her baby of mine. And uh, um, this one has no, well, anyway. Something to come. Get it. Here's another one. Just, just one more. Which way do I go with that? Wrong Where's way, right way. way. Upside right. down. Just another one. Another something. So anyway. Those are girls. Those are front of your girls. airplanes. And then we will have the squadron patches. So you can buy those with the stickers from Cali. So anyway, new, we I'm had a Vietnam night around the channel there. Though we had the F4 right off the bat, and yeah. we had the big unboxing, and now hey, we got an A4 something in front hey, of us. If they can put the Boozer, we seen the Boozer sticker stuck on everything. At I have, life. yeah. Joe Nollett cracked me up. Guys had, I, I saw a free wing F4 with a big Boozer sticker right this, on the side. This plane would boot, look good with a girl on the front of it. Oh yeah. Don't yeah. tell me they didn't have We're going to get us a whole pile of Boozer stickers and Boozer go. our fleet up. But Why anyway, not? you guys look for that coming up from Cali. They'll be coming. And I don't know what we're going to call them. I think uh, I'm going to leave that to Wesley and Lori. I think the Boozer, boozer Girls. We'll call them the Papa Boozer names. Girls. Papa Titties. <laughs> Something, I don't know. Whatever. But anyway, y'all look forward to that. But, uh, and right. buy them. I wish I had a battery to put in this thing. So it yeah, it's okay. It's low rider. Right. But it's that's off. fine, guys. Um, anyway, I think we're going to cut it off. Um, have you flown the F-18 before? Have I flown which F-18? Uh, I have flown the Freewing F-18. A bunch. I love it. Uh, I have the E-Flight F-18 F coming. It was actually supposed to be here tonight, and we were going to unbox it tonight, but uh, I didn't get to it in time. It wasn't Kevin's fault. It was it's not Kevin's fault. fault. I was doing 10,000 other things today and didn't get over to Kevin to get it from him, but that means you get to see it next weekend. So yep. be looking out for an F-18 freeway or flight line, whatever it is. No, free E-flight. E-flight. There you go. F-18. It'll be one of them. There's too many. There's too many airplanes lately. <laughs> but I love it. Yep. It's a good problem to have. We're enjoying it. 
Uh, I'm excited to see the landing oh, gear. On we'll the to just answer your question, we'll probably start out with ten. Uh, we're going to start out with a bunch of them. We're Don't start worry out about with a that. Bunch of, uh, There'll be a bunch of girls and a bunch of squadron yeah. patches, and yeah. I'm sending them all to her and saying, yeah. "Good luck." Yeah, well, we'll see. We, there'll be a, we're going to select some of our better ones that we like. We know we're going to select the best squadron patches at first, like the Memphis Bell, that that and the, the yeah Tiger, the Mon Memphis Bell Flying, Flying Tigers, Tigers, the Wasps, yeah, uh, the, the Tuskegee Airmen, yeah, the, all, all the real big famous squadrons. The first ones we give to you the Pathfinders because the Pathfinders, you got to have ours. That you're going to have that one, and then you know it's funny. The Pathfinder's logo, the one that he has on right now, the actual Mary Boozer Squadron patch, the one you had was the only one left in existence. We well, actually we contacted, think, well, we contacted the Smithsonian. The book had the wrong logo. Well, in it. yeah, it doesn't have the wrong one. But when I talked to the person at the Smithsonian, or the person that was over the archives, not the Smithsonian archives. Uh, and I asked him the question about what the Air Force actually had in their records and what I had that showed that I knew that was from the right one. He said the the thing was that, that, that the squadron actually had the right to refuse the one that was some other one used and they could make their own. And he informed me that I probably had the only one of this one and please do not throw it away if I did anything. Please. But it's kind of neat that anyway. there's this now where you can, if we get this all going right, where you can go get a sticker of it and put it on your airplane, and the history lives on. Whether it's you right. have That's the right. Pathfinders or you have the Tuskegee Airmen one, you know, the Tuskegee Airmen one, pretty big, but yeah. some of these are, you know, like the, the troop transport ones that nobody's ever yeah, seen. So there's some of these that... that, that, that the history lives there's, on of these patches. The though. Air Force tried to keep as much history as possible, but when they finally caught up, they, it was it was like the airplanes, guys. They were they wasn't thinking about keeping these things. So the problem was a lot a lot of these things got thrown in the trash can, yep. and, and they, they there was in the. You know, <laughs> is it bothering everybody else too? <laughs> Put the scissors in the plane. Something. Oh, right. I can't believe that bothers somebody. It nope. don't work. Anyway, Whatever. we're gonna we're gonna cut it off here in a second. But anyway. uh, it, it's a really amazing, guys, if you get to go into the history and, and how you think that history is saved. It really wasn't. A lot of it was thrown away, uh, yep. and a lot of it's lost. So you may have some of that history. So please, if you still have some of that World War II stuff from your father or your grandfather, for some reason, don't throw it away. Do not throw it away. If you do anything with it, make sure it gets to some. Uh, the Smithsonian would probably take it unless it's something. I mean. Any of its history. I don't care if you got. Just to throw this out here too, George Watts has been saying it's really cool y'all are father and son doing this, and he says my son flew with me until he started playing high school sports. Yeah. Hope I can coax him back into it. Now, George, if you want to know the honest truth about me and Dad, I started when I was thirteen. I probably well, did it right up around yeah, twelve. Yeah, you actually started at ten. I, I actually got good enough to fly at it by. 13 though, yeah. and would pay attention enough. And I did it from then until the time I was 17. No, you quit before 15. I, 15, 16. When you got into high school. I yeah. got into girls, yeah. and just like where your son is. And, and women and everything else took over, and that's what I was doing. And then after college, well, you sat in college and played your... I, your, I played uh, RC airplanes in college, too. I, I never really got out of the hobby. The I, had the, I had the Sims and everything. I never really quit flying. I just never flew. I didn't have anything. I didn't have any money to start with in college. Uh, but he kept his hand in it. I didn't but know I he kept, was doing it, but he kept I his kept hand in the simulators. The simulators, and that kept me proficient. And I did that, and then I got married, and I... I was kind of looking for a hobby again, 
And I, I always thought, man, I'd like to get back into RC airplanes. I just never had time for it. Well, I got to where I had the money and the means to do RC airplanes again. And I said, Dad, wouldn't it be fun to get a couple of them? Yeah. And Lori said, said, sure, no. you can get a couple. Dad said, hell no, I don't want to get back into that. Don't show me a damn thing. Uh, well, I <laughs> Pretty mean, much I, that's how it went, too. Well, don't let him lie. It was that way. I said, he I, said I don't want to do that. I, I moved to Florida. I had nowhere to build, and I was back in the thing. He was still build thinking things. about building airplanes. I was thinking about this. Right. And I said, Wesley, I don't have anywhere. I moved into a retirement park. I said, I only have a two-car garage, and I don't have any plan. Your mother is not going to let me start sanding on balsa and all this stuff in the house, so forget it. But then I got kind of into it, and I said, Dad, it's really not that expensive. And I showed up with, I don't even remember. He bought me, you bought me a P-51, that that. that small. I box. bought him an FMS 980mm P-51. The little hand toss one. And then I, I, I really had been out of it so long. I, it, I struggled with that. He struggled with one. that. So I, we bought a GMS stick. Yeah, we bought GWS slow sticks. <laughs> that was what it is. We both got one. Yeah. And we were flying the hell out of them. We flew them and flew them. You know that they're making them again? Oh, really? <laughs> you can buy a brand new one if you go to Graves RC in Orlando. They have a website and they do ship anywhere in the country. Graves RC has got brand new G GWS slow sticks in the box for 34 bucks now. 34 bucks. And they're fun. They're fun. fun. Anybody mean, that had never had stick. one, get a slow stick yeah. and putt around with your buddies with it. Fly that formation. Rubber band on wing, you know. Just I still have mine, and I might go buy another kit just to have it. Because when I somebody comes, that. well, when somebody comes in and wants to learn to fly and has never right, touched right. one, you throw them out there on a slow stick and say left, right, up, down. There's no ailerons or nothing, you know, and they they don't go very fast. When they do crash, the wing just pops off. And and then you're flying them on three S twenty. Three S twenty two hundred flies you for fifteen minutes. Three three S fifteen. Yeah, I did mine on twenty twos and we flew them for fifteen minutes. I'm just telling you. But we had we had those, and you're we got not, back into it. And we were playing with that, and I'm like, "Oh, you know, Dad, it'd be cool to get this." And now, blah, if you're blah, in blah, Texas, and, yeah, if you live in somewhere Kansas, Texas, anywhere where it's really windy, I probably would not recommend. You're one. gonna have to pick and choose your days to fly. If it's over six miles an hour, hour you enough. don't fly the yeah. slow stick. But yeah. in Florida. You know, everybody you packs up and goes home when it's six miles oh an hour. They're like, oh my God, it's, it's so windy. Miles, oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah, and we're all like, I want to go flying. Yeah. So, so but we, were we like, came from Texas, though. We came so from we Texas take it. where you flew in the wind. There's not very many days. days where we're like, we can't fly. We was talking about the ironing thing when we forgot. But anyway. Whatever. We iron on the, the graphics. When we get Cali graphics, I get my hobby iron. I set it on the lowest setting. Let it get warm, and then I I run that iron over these graphics, and man, it really sticks them down. You can stick everything into the uh, the the crevices where all the uh, in here and it, all the panel yeah, lines do, and stuff yeah, show now, up. Now, make sure you understand. You do not. I, I'm, we're not saying you have to stick Cali graphics down to make. You don't them have stick to use heat. Airplane, we're not saying that. But it does help to adhere them to where they and, are more and, stuck. And they. If you do that, your panel lines will show up yep. in a way. So anyway. Anyway. But All you right. Do not have to do that with Cali Graham. That's our soapbox for the night of where me and him came back for. And then that just compiled, and then we're like, <laughs> oh my god, now I have a hundred of them, and what do I do to where do I put one? Do a whole YouTube channel. Yeah. Now it, it compiled <laughs> and, and and exploded over the past year. We've only been back in this for about two years. I mean. From zero airplanes to, oh my God, oh, yeah. how did I you end know, up with all this? You know, another, you know, George Watts says GW6, or, or, you could stick lights on it. Yeah, you could put lights night. on it. I it mean, could be a night I guarantee light. you that plane would be fun. Uh -huh. I mean, anyway, if cool. you want a GWS slow stick, I'm telling you, though, they've been discontinued forever. They make them again. <laughs> and you can buy it brand new for $34.95 or whatever it is from uh, Graves RC in Orlando. And he direct ships anywhere in the country. Yeah, how do you spell Graves? Is it G R A B Graves? G -R -A -B -S. Yeah, Graves, something like that. Graves. Anyway, if you want one, they sell them again, though. 
And put you a small. It doesn't it. need any kind of big fancy motor no, on the front no, of it. No, we we, we bought cheap use, ones uh, off of Amazon that were like ten bucks for yeah, the motor and yeah. the ESC, and then you got a nine by ten prop with it. Yep. Stick that on there and yeah. go fly all day. Fly and if you dink it, you, you, nothing in it. You can upgrade it to those little rubber tires. <laughs> yep, we had we had better tires on it. The little thin things, but you, the thin uh, things. Are the okay thin too. things weren't great too. We had, and then we made a couple hot rod ones with bigger motors. Mine yeah. has a super tiger or something. But something if you get it too fast, and the wings, the wings will, will go. Fall, if you <laughs> start to get real good at it, the wings. I used to get mine to where I'd, I'd go, I'd do a loop and then stop it and then fly it around inverted. They don't like flying inverted. You can do it for a little while, but eventually the wing gets but, but warped if, and it goes, if, if you're going to start flying it too fast, you need to get you some carbon fiber on right. the main wing Something. and, and uh, strength, strength, strength. Graves, the there you go, pilot Graves, Ryan. there we go, Graves. Graves RC. Like digging yeah. a grave. Yeah, anyway, he's, uh, the Graves... Orlando Hobby Store. You can look them up online. If you put Graves Orlando, Lori's putting it in there. Anyway, if, if you go there, they do have them now, and it's kind of a fun plane. If you're yeah, a newer yeah, pilot, I can't recommend it enough yeah. because it got me and him back into the hobby. I, it got me behind the stick again, and, and you know, I, and then I could, after I flew that thing for maybe two or three, four weeks, till I got sufficient again, then I went. Hot racking? I'm missing everything going on in this thing. Uh, I don't know. I missed it. There you go. Okay, so she put it in there. Is that actually the link to the GWS Low Stick? No, that's just... Oh, just to Graves? Anyway, somebody had put it, sent me the links to it the other day, and I was like, oh my god, they're making it again? So, it was pretty, pretty and good airplane. Alright, anyway, guys, thank y'all for coming. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Well, we was here till twelve thirty last night. Right. We're gonna end it early. If tonight. you didn't get enough of us tonight, go over to the Pilot I Ryan watch, channel and watch and that three-hour show three from hour last show. night. Also, and, uh, um, we are looking forward to flying our P sixty one Black Widow that Ryan has yeah. graciously had sent to us to review. Uh, go check out PilotRyanMedia.com for all of your. P61 or Dynam airplane needs. There you go. So anyway, guys, we you really had a good time over this weekend. Um, go buy hey, my go go buy and get that stick of monkey pants. Go get shirt. if you're gonna buy a t-shirt, buy a stick of monkey pants one. So you let the uh, pilot boozer Boo. art live on. If yeah. you're gonna buy a boozer mm -hmm. shirt, go to Mary Boozer's uh, Teespring, Teespring store. store and check that out. And without further ado. Let's get out of here. Nine, four, three, seven, six. They're five. counting us down. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We appreciate the super chats. We do. We, we appreciate everything y'all are doing. All people subscribed to us in the in the forever. We we just are amazed. Uh, we hope we can keep continuing to bring it to you. Yep, and and we really do enjoy it every week. So, our little RC community, we're gonna let y'all go. Five, four, three. Two, one. You know what? Whoop, whoop, Hold up. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I have decided what I'm going to start signing off all my shows with. Flying is better with your friends. Get out there and fly with your buddies. There you go. See y'all later. That's something I've been saying for a long time, and I want y'all to know it. It's the truth. Go fly with your friends. It's always more fun. See ya.